Welcome December Miracles. Well, can you believe that December is already here? God has kept us, sustained us, and blessed us until the end of the year. And so I'm going to share with you five universal principles that I believe will help you flow uh, in, in the vibration uh, and the flow of miracles, okay? So let me say up front, I know usually at the end of the year, people are feeling some kind of way. Is that you? Sometimes people are feeling like, I thought by now I would have. It's another year and I don't have. But what I'm going to be teaching you or sharing with you quickly will be just five things that I want you to do during the month of December to really focus in on God blessing you and manifesting the miraculous in 2024, at the end of 2024. So uh, I want to use a Bible verse, and it's Psalm 65, and it says, God, uh, God shall crown the year with his goodness, and your paths will drip with richness. Now, this is a different version. Uh, and then it says, you crown the year with your goodness, O God, and your paths drip with abundance. So that means that God wants to crown your year. So when you have a crown on, that's like the finishing touches. So God wants to crown the end of 2024 with goodness, with richness, and with abundance. So the first thing I want you to do is to write down all of the good and wonderful things that have happened to you this year that have manifested in your life. So why am I doing this? Because sometimes we forget. And when you write down all of the good that has happened in your life, that has manifested in your life, it adds to your faith. It increases your faith. And so for me, I might would say uh, that I touch mil millions of lives this year, that I uh, developed a deeper relationship with God, that I did weight training 150 times. I mean, I don't know, but any of the good things that happened to you this year, write them down. And what's going to happen is as you begin to look at that list, you're going to say, oh my goodness, if God did that, remember you co-creating with God, if God did that, then he can do this for me in December. All right, number two is I want you to be expectant. Instead of focusing in on what you don't have, be expectant. Somebody said, well, what can happen in 30 days if it ain't happened, Constance, during the whole year? Well, remember, God doesn't live in time. God lives outside of time. Time. He is unlimited and lives in the eternal now. And expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. Somebody say that with me. Expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. And I heard my mentor in Africa say this. I told him I was going to steal it. So Bishop Victor, here, here we go. He said, expectation is the mother of manifestations. So let's expect for some things to happen. You know, when you place your order with Amazon, you know, and they say, well, you're, we have shipped your product. You start looking for it. Every time the Amazon truck comes in your neighborhood, you're looking, you are expecting. So expectation is another form of faith. All right. So we, we're going to write it down. And then I won't to the next thing is this number two or three this is number three i want you to write down just the one or two things that you really are believing god for that you really desire to manifest in your life so why is that important because when you're writing the bible says write the vision and make it plain when you're writing um uh, it's a form of prayer. And neuroscientists say when you're writing that something happens neurologically uh, in your brain and it gives you an opportunity to focus in, uh, to look at, 
uh, to believe and to imagine. So write down maybe one thing, that one big thing, that maybe two things that you really desire to uh, manifest in a miraculous way, because y'all know it got to be miraculous, right? So, and then the next one is, believe, just believe, God, I do not know how, but I am believing for the miraculous. I am believing for the unprecedented. You know, the Bible says, according to your faith, according to your belief, according to your expectancy. And I always say, God has a million ways to get your desire to you. But stay in the flow and in the vibration of belief and faith. Turn off the news. Stop scrolling on social media. Stop looking at negativity and really focus in on the miraculous manifesting in your life in December. Believe that you are a candidate to enjoy God's goodness, to be crowned with goodness and abundance and richness at the end of the year and favor in your life. So the next one, is this four or five, but y'all know what I'm saying. I want you to speak and imagine whatever that one thing is. I want you to speak it out. You know, the Bible says if you declare and decree, whatever you declare and decree shall be established or manifested in your life. You call it in with your words because your words are vib vibrational and creative. You know what I would do? I would take that scripture and I would say, thank you, God, that you crowned the year, this year of 2024, with your goodness and that your paths drip with richness, whichever version you want to read. I would begin to declare and decree that with all of the faith that's on the inside of me. Thank you for the miraculous. Thank you for my new car. Thank you for my healing. Whatever it is, you need to speak it. And then you need to imagine it. See yourself already having, because the word says he's already given you what all things. What does all things include? All things. So begin to see it, begin to feel it. And then lastly, you're going to be radically grateful. You're grateful uh, for the miraculous. You are expecting, you're thankful, you're praising God for it, even before it shows up on the 3D plane or the physical plane of your life, you know that the miraculous is on its way. So guess what? December is the month of miracles. Open up your heart, uh, believe it, expect it, write it down, have faith in it, uh, know that God has a million ways to get your desires to you and be grateful for it. Happy December, everybody.